Um, so now we're going to skip. I don't usually do this. I segregate my news and my cows and my troons and my sector into little, little areas. Um, but we're going to skip. And say hello to... Oh, that's the wrong one. Destiny. I'm honest, honestly conflicted how I feel about the shooting, but we'll chat about the stream tomorrow. So he went on a tweet spree. He tweeted hundreds of dumbass fucking posts. And I think that until Elon Musk personally stepped in and banned him for a mere 12 hours, his longest time between tweets was like five minutes or something. Like he stayed up for three days doing uppers because he's like a hardcore Adderall junkie. By the way, stop sending me drug suggestions. I was fucking joking. I don't need to know what drug to take. I'm not going to start crushing Adderall and snorting it like Destiny. Because this is apparently the result. I'm already mentally fucking ill. I don't need help. Um, but he went on a massive drug-induced tweet spree where he kept saying that this guy deserved to die. Um... Let me, clar let me clarify. When I say conflicted, what I mean is that I lean toward thing as a natural extension of the thing that Trump and the MAGA kids support, though I don't think having much sympathy about th the attempt enough to chastise people celebrating it. Um, I'm sorry, but Thoy raging over this when conservatives have been unhinged for the past eight years is beyond fucking stupid. I'm way the fuck over it. Um... They reap what they sow, and I'm here to watch the harvest. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Someone ring the soy jack about white eloquence. Uh, we, got, we, we have a white person talking like motherfucking Sephiroth on, on, on X.com. Sound the alarm. What if a cool black person read this? What if Sean Harper read this? He'd fucking cringe at this. That's not allowed. That's not a direct quote from a, a socialist podcaster. Um, he basically just tweeted about this guy and said that he's glad he's dead. And he got banned for 12 hours. Elon Musk personally banned him for 12 fucking hours for saying that this guy who didn't do any fucking thing besides vote for Trump and attend a rally deserved to get shot because he was the enemy. Um, I remind you that my theory, oh, this is another tweet that I picked out. If we learn anything today, I hope it's realizing the importance of principles I've stressed many times on stream before. Having a firearm means it's absolutely nothing if you don't spend the time with the range practicing with it. So he's basically just saying it's a shame that the guy missed. So I hope everyone takes that advice to heart. Do you have a gun? If yes, or if no, why the fuck not? If yes, do you have range time with it? Could you land a shot on Destiny in a self-defense situation? What if Destiny and a crowd of trannies were coming at you? Would you be able to defend yourself in that situation? Because Destiny thinks it's real fucking funny. Destiny thinks it'd be funny if you got shot. And it's I think it's worth... It's I want to reiterate my... Um, sorry, let me replug in my, my box real quick. Sorry, my audio was real fucked up for some reason. I'm gonna play this in the background. It's melt to talk. Time. You got the floor. Okay. I'll just I'll just leave this and then can I loop this? I'll just let it play and then I'll replay it as it necessary. So this guy, Destiny's a multimillionaire and he has multiple kids that he's not involved in, and he's lost multiple wives to like losers, like random black guys and losers. Um. Destiny's life, though, is extremely comfortable. And the thing is, is that there is no reality in this world or in any timeline where Destiny could be Destiny and not Steve Bunnell, except this one. He, before becoming a StarCraft streamer, was a carpet cleaner. This guy cleaned rugs. He has no education. He has no experience. He has no real world value. If you were trying to, if you were a socialist commissar, and you were trying to find a job for Destiny to do that would actually create economic value to the commune, um, you would have this motherfucker cleaning carpets again because that's the only, literally the only qualification he has. So, and I'm sure he's cleaned a couple of carpets that he wouldn't talk about on stream. That would be disgusting. That would be like a Matt Jarbo tier carpet cleaning. He still cleans carpets um, in unsavory situations. Uh, but it's only through the current economic setup where the United States sits on top, where entertainment 
and faffing about politics is a actual service that people will pay willingly for that permits destiny to be destiny. In any other, any, any other timeline where the U.S. could not just print money and steal it from the banks of our allies that use it as a reserve currency, in no other environment could he be destiny. I love that face. Suffer, man. This is a guy that's so filled with, like, internal anger. At how... It's like with the rape victim. Um, like, guys that get raped become, like, gay pedophiles because gay... Like, when you... When a guy is raped, they, like, lose power. I don't know. I guess it's probably the same for women, but it, it, they redirect that anger differently. Like, gay pedophiles take it out on, like, people their own age when they were molested um, to regain control, that sense of control that they lost. And that's, like, destiny. It's like he lives in this world, in this hell of his own design, being humiliated constantly. And he's lost power over his life. Even though he has the money, even though he has the influence, he's still just known as a cuckold that he can't even pay women to tolerate for any length of time. So he just goes on X and says, hey, this guy that had a family and could catch bass and be happy, I'm glad he's dead because he voted differently than me. That's destiny in a nutshell. Pretty fucking sad chat. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!